It was an all-out search for 13 adults and children, one as young as three years old, who were reported missing by relatives yesterday. This is a, an enormous 700 square mile area that we're looking at. We have helicopters up, search and rescue, major crimes, maybe 50 to 60, 70 deputies combing this area trying to locate them. 32-year-old Salvadorian immigrant Reina Marisol Chicas was leading the group, which authorities described as cult-like. Notes found by relatives raised concern that they may have been on a religious suicide mission. In essence, they indicated there may be a journey to the next life. There was allegorical references, uh, perhaps to Jesus, perhaps to we want to visit our deceased relatives, things like that. Before they went missing, the group was seen praying in this Palmdale house. Real quiet people and nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, nice people. On Saturday afternoon, relatives went to authorities concerned that Chicas had brainwashed their loved ones. What we are led to believe is that it is an a, a absolutely unorthodox approach to a, a, a Western religion. Authorities had actually received a call about the group hours before they were reported missing. A deputy encountered them praying in a school parking lot at 3 a.m. on Saturday. Benign, uh, very cooperative. The kids seemed very happy. Uh, the deputy uh, obviously queried, what are you doing here, what's going on? And when they uh, realized that the situation was um, not a threat in any way, as it, then they went on their way. But concerns about a mass suicide pact suddenly evaporated as deputies received good news. Ladies and gentlemen, we just found them. They were discovered alive and well in this Palmdale Park. They said they were simply praying. I'm okay, my son, the dogs, everybody's okay. The leader of the group was being sent for a psychological evaluation and police breathed a long sigh of relief. Terry McCarthy, CBS News, Los Angeles.